Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you how you can sharpen your knives and especially your tracker knife uh, with a sharpening chick. And I gotta say that I'm a big fan of sharpening knives with a sharpening chick like this one here. Uh, this one is a cheap one that I got off of Amazon for I think 40 euros or so. So it's really cheap but um, the quality is actually not too bad and it will allow you to hold the angle professionally. So yeah, the problem with sharpening knives is that if you do it by hand and if you don't hold the angle, you won't get a sharp knife. And this device is exterminating all of the mistakes that you can make. And with this, everybody can sharpen knives professionally to a razor sharpness. So the secondary bevel of some knives is flat, which is okay and you can sharpen your knives flat. But I would like to have a convex bevel because the convex bevel is a little bit more stable. It will hold the edge for a longer time and it doesn't bend over so easily. So this is why I sharpen my knives convex. And for that I have prepared myself some sharpening stones. It's not really a stone because uh, I'm using the soft um, yeah, foam here which I got from a packaging. And I just glued it onto here, onto this ABS stand. And then I have taken two kinds of um, sandpapers. The first one is this one here. This is P240. And then also the next sandpaper uh, grid is 1200. So this is really fine. And yeah, I have both of the sandpapers on my sharpening stones. And the great thing is that you can compress them together like this and this way um, the sandpaper will go around the edge and makes this really nice bevel the convex bevel that I'm looking for all right so first let's sharpen a normal classical shaped knife and then we will go to the tracker knife okay before we start I want to use some electrical tape and tape off the knife because otherwise you will get some scratches from the clamp but also you will get some scratches from the sandpaper when it's coming up here. And this way you will avoid any nasty scratches, nasty surprises. All right, I have taped off the knife except for the very edge. And now I'm going to put it into the knife sharpening chick. All right. Okay, and now I want to insert the first stone, which is 240 grit sandpaper and next I take a marker and then mark um, the very edge of the knife and this way I can see if the angle of the sharpening stone is right or not okay so here I can see it's a little bit too steep so I have to go down with my sharpening chick So now we have the perfect angle for this knife here and first I'm just using my 240 sharpening stone. Now I take the next one and this is the 1200 grit. Okay, so it's pretty easy to sharpen a straight knife, but how do we sharpen a tracker style knife which has this hook here? Well, first of all, I want to tape the blade just as we did before. And also I would start to um, sharpen the knife at the front here because this is where I can use my straight stones. And then for here we have to build ourselves another sharpening stone. All right, so I have taped off the front of the edge and now I'm only going to sharpen this part here 
and this part I'm going to sharpen later. So now with tracker knives we have to watch out that we don't sharpen over this corner here because then the corner will vanish and we don't want that. So this is why I will tape this edge here. Next, I switch to the polishing stone again. Okay, now I have taped off the uh, bottom edge here and I have protected the hook with electrical tape. And now we need something oval, like for example this pencil here. And we take some foam, I put it around here, but also I want to use some super glue so that this uh, makes a snug fit. Now if you do not have an oval stick or pencil, you can also take a round pencil, it's no problem. So it doesn't have to be oval, but I just had it laying here in my basement and that's why I'm taking it. Okay, next we put on some fine grit 240 cent paper. And as you can see, it's super cheap to make your own sharpening stones. Um, doesn't cost a lot, a few cents for the sandpaper and the rest you can scavenge from parcels and it does not cost a lot to make your own sharpening stones for convex sharpening it's really no problem and of course you have to renew the sharpening stones every now and then because it's sandpaper and it's not holding forever but it's a cheap option and it's, I believe, the best option to sharpen um, tracker knives in a convex grind. And here you can already see that we have this really nice curve, which also happens to fit the curve here. So, okay, now let's put this into the sharpening chick and let's go to town. Now, what's really awesome about this sharpening chick is that you can take out the entire sharpening system and I can put in a file or even this pencil. And as you can see, I am successfully sharpening this curve here. I touch all of the parts of the curve. And this is the way how you can sharpen a tracker knife in convex.
and the purpose of the lettuce drop is to uh, remove all of the burr and here I stay at the edge at the corner of the lettuce drop to make sure that I get into the curve of the tracker knife and it's really really oh it's really sharp so in the front it's definitely cutting really really well but here I need to strop more because there's still a little bit of burr left at the corner as you can see the curve is sharp and we can make some really awesome feather sticks with it so I'm a big fan of a convex edge because it's really so much more stable it holds the edge for a longer time and also I believe that it is um, producing better curls but that's just my honest opinion so yeah um, anyways this is how you can sharpen your Apovon tracker knife or any other tracker knife and I think it's great fun to use those knives even though it takes a little bit longer to sharpen them and yeah I cannot wait to go out again and use it in the wilderness so if you want to see those videos make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned till next time.